Hi. Now, in this next part, what we've got to do is estimate the median by using linear interpolation from this table. So if this is something you'd like to uh, have a go at, give you a moment just to pause the video, come back when I'm ready, and I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So how do we go about this one? Well, there's many ways of working out the medium by linear interpolation, but the way that I'm going to show you, I personally prefer. And that is, first of all, anyway, we've got to work out the position of the median where it's going to be. So we'll start, first of all, with the writing down the position of the median. So we've got 100 values, okay, we're told, if you were to add up that frequency. Now, we're dealing with continuous data here, as opposed to discrete data. And so, when it comes to working out the position of the median, what we do is we don't add 1 to the data and divide by 2. We just simply divide it by 2. You only add 1 to the amount of values and then divide by 2 when you've got discrete data. So, for continuous data, this is now going to be the 50th value that we're going to be looking at for the median. And where is that 50th value? Well, if we add up down through the column here, 12 and 28, you'll find that that total there comes to 40. But if we add 12, 28 and 22, if we just work our way down this column, once we get to the end here, that's going to be a total of 62. So the 50th value is going to be in this interval here, this class interval from 240 to 320. So what I do is I draw that class interval. So if we just mark it down here, okay, this class interval goes then from 240 to 320. So let's just mark that in there. I'll mark it in in green. So we've got 240 here and 320. And we're taking those values like so. Now, I've got 40 values that bring us up to 240. So we'll put 40 underneath here. And I've got 62 values that bring us up to the 320. Now I'm looking for the 50th value, and the 50th value is going to be, say, somewhere around here. It doesn't have to be marked in accurately, but there we go, there's the 50th value. And that's going to represent the median, Q2. Okay, so we just mark that as Q2. Now, when we're going to work out Q2, all I do is I just compare lengths. I compare this width from 240 to Q2, so we just mark that in, say, with a dotted line there. I compare it to the equivalent width below for going from 40 to 50. And then that comparison is going to be exactly the same as comparing, say, the width from 240 to 320, which I'll mark in as a dotted line there to the width from 40 to 62. So we set this out as an equation, something like this. This dotted width here is going to be a width of Q2 minus 240, so we therefore have Q2 minus 240. And that's compared to the equivalent width below, so it's going to be 50 take away 40. And that's going to equal, compare the top width here, that's going to be 320 minus 240. 320 minus 240. And that's compared with the width below, 62 minus 40. So it's just a question of rearranging this equation now. So to get Q2, all I'm going to do is multiply both sides by what is effectively 10 here, 50 take away 40, and then add the 240. So what we've got here is 80 on the top there, divided by 62 take 40, which is 22. 
going to multiply both sides by 10 so I'm going to get that that's going to leave me with Q2 minus 240 and then add 240 to both sides and that gives me Q2 okay so all I've got to do now is just work that out and so if you do you therefore end up with Q2 equaling 276.3636 and so on and if we were to give our weekly income then to the nearest pound Q2 represents the median so I'm just going to write it back as therefore the median equals 276 pounds and we need to give that to the nearest pound okay so don't forget I've got more tutorials on working out or estimating the median by linear interpolation if you just go on my website examsolutions.net right